Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new Wargaming concept and this time I want to talk about Alpha Strike. What means Alpha Strike and what is Alpha Strike? So Alpha Strike is an army that is specialized in striking first and striking very hard, but having very low defense. In Warhammer 40k, for example, as I always go to my my base game, that is the Warhammer 40k, where I have more knowledge. Alpha Strike, typical Alpha Strike army is uh, Dark Elder. So it's a unit that has very low armor, the vehicles are very light, but the shooting and the close combat is very strong with high initiatives. So this is an Alpha Strike army. You can also have just Alpha Strike units. Units that they are specialized in appearing, shooting, killing when they have to shoot, and then they die. They are between suicidal, disruptive, but also alpha strike units. Uh, let's put another example here. So imagine uh, Sisters of Battle. We have the Dominus. Most of the time they are alpha strike. They go. They are equipped with very strong weapons. They appear from out flanking. They can. They disembark. They shoot. They kill what they have to shoot, and then they normally they die because the rest of the army will take care of them. Another example is the in Space Marines, the Stengard. The Stengard normally on drop pods are a typical alpha strike unit. They will appear in the middle of the enemy army, they will shoot, they will kill what they have to kill, and then that's all. So alpha strike units normally you ha are, are a lot more of the time also disruptive, and I will cover this in another chapter, or suicidal units. But when we talk about Alpha Strike armies like Dark Elder, sometimes also the Elder, these are armies that can sometimes be difficult and discouraging to 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 play because you have to strike first. You cannot uh, allow the enemy to shoot at you because the, he will kill your uh, your units. He will damage your army and then you will lose efficiency. And if you lose your efficiency, you are not going to be anymore an Alpha Strike army. This way, sometimes we see that Dark Elder uh, try to keep a lot of units in reserve because they don't have a good defense. So the only way to, to defend yourself is you cannot shoot me because I'm not on the battlefield. Then when I appear, I shoot and, let's, and I try to do the other objective of the Alpha Strike army is they try to do as much damage as they can in when they appear, when they can strike, in the way that the returning is not that strong. Because the, the best defense for them is a good offensive attack. So when we have the, the sentence that the, the best defense is an attack, this is because you have an alpha strike army. It's an army that is specialized in striking, in, in attacking very hard, in destroying the, the enemy units and then manage to uh, not to receive too damage in return because you you did the damage in the enemy what are the drawbacks of these armies first if you do a mistake you are dead normally in an alpha strike army or uh, if you're doing a mistake your army is going to be disseminate, disseminated that is going to be destroyed because you don't have good defenses other problems that you can face if you're facing an army that is very resilient, like Necrons, they can be very difficult to deal with because you will you will not do enough damage, and then in return he will start killing your units quite fast. So you have to be careful and you have to be very choiceful, and the positioning is sup is very key when you are playing with this type of armies. Uh, how to defend against alpha strike armies this is more difficult but normally you have to use units to shield your key assets try to keep your key assets in safe in order that when the enemy is striking you you can do some damage in return so you have to absorb the damage that you're going to receive normally if the enemy is a good player with an alpha strike army or with alpha strike units you are not going to be able to protect yourself from the attack. But you can try to minimize the damage. For example, if you know that he's going to have drop pods or something like that, try to avoid holes in your deployment. Try to avoid that these drop pods can appear easily at the back of your army. 
protect your main assets. Try to put your main assets in a position that they are protected from different angles. The vehicles can be very vulnerable, for example, in 40k because of the back armor. Try to put them in a position that they, it's not easy to take the rear armor of the vehicles. I know that it's difficult. Sometimes it can be, uh, yeah, can, you can feel that you are playing against the enemy and you are not playing your strategy. But you have to say, take this into account. When you have in front an Alpha Strike army or an army that have a lot of Alpha Strike units, you have to be careful. You have to plan this in advance. They will appear and they will hit you. And they, if they play well, they will hit you hard. So try to protect your main assets in the way that once this hit have passed, you can then counterattack. And normally, if you were planning this well in advance, if you can counterattack them strong, they will die much faster than you after that. They will kill you some assets, maybe some important assets. Don't discourage and try to return the damage as soon as possible. And yeah, and also in fantasy, we have sometimes ambushers and armies that are another uh, typical alpha strike army in maybe in fantasy can be the wood elves. They don't have good defenses, but they are quite strong hitting with the arrow, special arrows, uh, with some units that can strike quite hard. I suffered this in my last battle with Bretonian, so the wood elf just hit me so hard that even with my strong defenses with Bretonia, with my resilient, I was not able to resist the attacks. Dark elves also follow in that charm sometimes. So. This Alpha Strike can, and I guess in most of the other games, you will find Alpha Strike armies or Alpha Strike units. So the main concept is, is a unit that normally is specialized in striking first and in striking hard. But if this unit for any reason is, uh, is a strike before they can strike, they will die very easily. They don't, normally they don't have good defenses. Uh, this is the key point. So you, you, you will invest your assets in the offensive power of the units, in the offensive power of your army, and you don't invest assets on the defense. Uh, you invest assets in being fast and being very offensive. And this is the main characteristic of an alpha strike. The problem is what is called alpha, because if you are beta, so means you are second, you are dead normally with an alpha strike army. There is no way that, uh, because you didn't invest on defensive. And there are armies in the games that are specialized on Alpha Strike because they don't have good defenses assets. And I will repeat again, Dark Elder is one clear example on Warhammer 40k. Wood Elves can be an example on the Warhammer Fantasy or no on Age of Sigmar. We have to rebalance this a little bit. Uh, and that's all. Uh, what I want to share. Well, the last point is normally Alpha Strike armies are composed of quite elite units. You can say, okay, orcs don't have good defense, but they don't have elite units. They, they can be, they are more mass army, not really Alpha Strike. They also have some Alpha Strike units, but they are more, they have the resilience thanks to the normal numbers. Alpha Strike armies normally don't have high numbers. Because you you invest a lot on the offensive power, so you will have units, small units with low defense and very strong defense power. So, if you think the balance of an army, where we have defense, offensive power, numbers, the alpha strike will be offensive, sacrificing in numbers, sacrificing in defense. That's all what I want to share in this in this uh, video, just to show a concept of about what is alpha strike. And yeah, and now it's time for you to comment below. Let me know if you have faced sometimes Alpha Strike armies, if you like this type of armies, how you play them, and yeah, what is your opinion, and what is your counter attacks for when you're facing Alpha Strikes. And if you play Alpha Strike armies, tell me which is your army, how you play them, and what is your most uh, efficient strategy to be able that you hit first and you hit hard. And yeah, as I say, that's all for this video. So thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.